Okay, here's part three. Okay, over and over again, we've talked about evolution and we've talked about different things. But now let's do a little bit more thinking. If evolution were real, we would see evidence for evolution in a real life. And we don't see it. For example, deer have been around for thousands of years. Cars have been around for more than a hundred years. But what we don't see is we don't see deer evolving to avoid cars. We don't say, oh, you know, there used to be a lot of deer running in front of cars back in the 1920s, but as the 30s and 40s rolled around, fewer and fewer. Now, in the year 2019, we have very few deer that run in front of a car because they evolve. No, no, they don't evolve. But if you think about it, if the deer were to evolve into a type of deer that would avoid cars, they would have a longer lifespan. Instead, they still run in front of the car and stop. And of course, you hit the brakes, but you still hit the deer. They could either keep going or, better yet, not run in front of cars. I mean, think about it. There's no advantage to running in front of a car. Now, why do they do it? Because they're not very bright is one reason. But the other is because they don't evolve. They don't have that capacity to evolve into another species or a species that avoids a certain behavior because that's not what's going on. We don't have any evolution. The reason we don't have the deer evolving so that they don't run in front of cars is because evolution is not real. It never was real. And it's never going to be real because evolution is not a has-been, it's a never was. You know, it's something that never was. And if you think about it, what scientists will do is they'll say, see, see, there used to be this, uh, this bacteria and it used to be uh, that we could kill it with an antibiotic, but it became evolved to become resistant. No, it did not. What happened was the bacteria that died from the antibiotic did not reproduce. The only ones that reproduced were the ones that were resistant. So the percentage of resistant bacteria has gone up, but there were always resistant bacteria from the beginning. It's just like Roundup herbicide. They say, oh, now a lot of weeds have evolved resistance to Roundup. No, they haven't. There were weeds long, long time ago that were resistant to Roundup. This is just a very small percentage. And when maybe one weed in a million is resistant, you say, oh, well, you know, that's no big deal. But when the number rises to like, 20 or 30 percent, you know, you realize that the weed killer is pretty much ineffective. So, you know, the, the percentage has gone up because the weeds that were weak, those died off. And the ones that are strong, those managed to survive. That's what happened, and that's what continues to happen. You know, it's like you're weeding out the weak. That's all you're doing. You're not evolving anything. Evolution would show you that there's like a giant change and you're not seeing that. You're not seeing a giant change. You might say, well, maybe there were deer that were always really smart and they would avoid cars and now they're a higher percentage. No, no. Because remember, that re would require more intelligence and they don't have intelligence. It's part of the reason why they run in front of cars. So you don't see evolution. Evolution is a process. You don't see that process. That process would slowly over time, get you a deer that not only avoids cars, but when they hear the sound that a car makes, obviously a car makes it, certain, they would run away. They would say, I don't want to be close to this thing. This thing kills. They don't evolve because they can't evolve because evolution is a fraud. That's why they cannot evolve. It's not that they wouldn't want to. They'd like to evolve into something that avoids cars, but they can't. You know, I remember there was a guy who was trying to breed tropical fish so they could live in cold water. And, you know, many, many years later he found out that it didn't matter what he did. The tropical fish would always die when the water gets cold. They don't evolve into fish that have resistance to cold water. They don't evolve. It doesn't matter how many generations you use. The results are always the same. No evolution. 